All right, guys. Oh, God. We're going to the cheapest restaurant in the city. It's a magical place at the restaurant. I don't know why, but there's graffiti all over this place. I ordered the sandwich and soup special, which is $3.75. It came with this vegetable sandwich and this chicken soup. This, the star of the show, the breakfast special, hash browns, four pieces of toast, eggs any way you want them, and some ham for pretty much $2 American, $2.95 Canadian. They're just black blasting the copyright music in here. So I went into the bathroom to try the food, which the bathroom in itself is a whole fucking movie. All right, guys, I'm here in the bathroom reviewing the food away from the copyright music they were playing. It's looking good. It's like a Lunchable on steroids. Got some toast in my pocket. That was the bite of food that gave me COVID. That was it. You know, it's impossible to fuck up a, a nice piece of bread with some butter on it. You might be asking how I sneaked the soup in here. I brought an empty bottle of Mountain Dew and I actually poured the soup inside. It looks like cum, but I can assure you it's chicken soup. You know Mountain Dew has 77 grams of sugar? You know, that, that seems insane. Dude, of course there's a Call of Duty ad on the freaking bottle. Why do I feel like everyone who drinks Mountain Dew definitely plays Call of Duty? Mm, it's nice. It's a little bit sweet. I think that's just the Mountain Dew that was still a little bit in there. That just that just makes it more extreme. There's so much graffiti, you can't even see yourself in the mirror. I'm trying to find interesting writings to show you guys, but like I can't, I literally can't decipher any of this, man. You can't, it's impossible to read. DK has a dinky dingle. That's the, that's the only thing I can read. DK, you done fucked up. Do you ever eat six slices of bread and feel sad? Anyway, with everything, the breakfast, the sandwiches, the soup, the total came to $7.05 or 550 American. The sandwich honestly wasn't the best. They just kind of crammed some vegetables between some bread, but they did have cheese and mayonnaise in it, which took it, you know, from like a from like a 3 to a solid 6. My Mountain Dew soup was delicious. It was it was all good. I I love this place, man. I know I might all come off a little bit greasy on camera, but it's kind of part of the charm of this place. Trust me, Becca! I promise it's actually really good. <laughs> I feel like one of those hipster girls that pretends to like dive bars right now. <laughs> but I'm not pretending though, I really do like this place. If you're a hipster girl listening to this, stop pretending to like dive bars. Oh, you and all your friends are getting a drink next to Uncle Al, who's about to you know, shit himself and collapse dead from alcoholism. Is that, I don't know, what, what do you like about that? Is it edgy? It actually does sound pretty cool. I'm here with the man who showed me this restaurant. Hey. How's 2021 treating you? Ah, uh, pretty good so far. Done mushrooms for about two weeks straight. Been playing lots of ping pong, that's been good. Uh, all I've eaten in the past 24 hours is half a bag of jalapeno Cheetos. They were organic though. Hello. Hello. I'm trying to do an angle where the sun isn't flicking my ass. Okay. I'm nailing it so far. I'm actually on a on a really strict cleanse right now, so. Uh huh. Onion rings. Can you eat that? Nope. Man, that smells good. The other day I made people food just so I could watch them eat it. <laughs> we're in day two of the cleanse. The onion rings were good. Whoa, out of 10? So here's the thing. Oh shit. Oh. I apologize for that. That's, That's okay. okay. Dude, in Canada, it's even wholesome when you get kicked out of a patio. You get super energy drinks. I was at a gas station uh, yesterday and I saw a motherfucker buying an energy drink and the can just had an big green X on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's all it is. You're just really leaning into it now yeah. with the marketing team. <laughs> green X. All the flavors like uh, blowjob blackberry. Lemon dick kick. <laughs> <laughs> Pomplamoose pummeling. <laughs> Guava gonorrhea. Oh my god. <laughs> Toast. If you're a white person, you gotta be able to make garlic toast and... Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Meatloaf. <laughs> if you're a mom, you have to know a dish based around squash. On Christmas, I tried to make eggnog mashed potatoes alone, and they were disgusting. How did you fuck up eggnog mashed potatoes? You just boil mashed potatoes and then you mash them. The instructions are in the name. Oh, this is the tuna sandwich. That looks rank, dude. It, it does. I keep smoking cigarettes. I went snowboarding and like, didn't want to vape the whole time I was snowboarding. 
Turns out healthy things are good for you. I also got grilled cheese. Oh man, that's just straight craft singles. Ugh, is that tickling the taint? I mean, it's bread and cheese, right? It's Mullets on chicks are hot. Like Miley yeah. Cyrus with the mullet. You know who's hot? Bald chicks. Yeah. 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 Last but not least, the steak. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Man, that is a sorry looking steak. That is gnarly. All right, let's uh <laughs> It's not coming loose. Oh Jesus. Oh, it <laughs> fell on the ground. It's over. It's over. So I ate with the person who showed me the restaurant and today I'm gonna pass the torch and show it to someone who's never tried it before. Hi. How's internet fame treating you? I'm not famous, you can't. Montclair, that's a brand? Yeah, it's French. I'm a peasant, I don't know this brand. No worries, stick, <laughs> stick to of you. We went in, what, what did you think of it inside the restaurant? It looks like a dive bar. <laughs> yeah. It looks like a utter bullshit. I wouldn't never, I would never eat from a place like that. This is, it's a, it's a Vancouver staple. <laughs> All right. Okay. Ready? Yeah, ready. Oh, wow, all the little items. Yeah, they got jam. Mmm, shitty jam, mmm, lovely. <laughs> and a lot of tomato sauce to hide probably the shitty taste. So, one fork from the dollar store for you. <laughs> okay, so what's that first? What's in there? Fuck you! <laughs> what? It's the... Ah, oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> What is it? But that's supposed to be bread. Look, there is a little stain on it. I'm not gonna eat that. Okay, <laughs> okay, I'll eat it. So this is uh, this is the toast. Oh god, even even more. What the fuck is that? What's that? It looks like a rib, but it's not a rib. Certainly not for three dollars. Fuck that thing. I think it's yours. <laughs> so everything is so greasy. First of all, and that bacon has been cooked in motor oil. I'm telling you, we have a. Uh, Oh, putain. <laughs> what is it now? Fuck, look at that potato. It's like they drag it outside. <laughs> Alright, the eggs will be the final test. It looks like a nice egg. It's a nice looking egg. <laughs> but uh, after all, I'm not gonna be a chunt. You pay three dollars, you get for three dollars. Everything here is expensive. Everything is a financial, uh, how can I say? Strain. I would use the word butt fuck, but yes. Um, <laughs> I brought us drinks. You brought us drinks? Yeah. <laughs> what did you bring? <laughs> this, this is the wine I bought you. Yeah. <laughs> Up for that. Down. One for you. Is this legal? Fuck it. Probably, you know why? Probably why it's so cheap. It's because mm. there is a lot of missing pets in the area. You know, like, how did they make money, you know? So charity sponsored by George Soros. Fuck, it give a fuck load of questions, you know? <laughs> I was going to end the the video giving out like a hundred of these meals to the homeless, but... Honestly, bro, we close to the crime against mankind. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. I, I feel bad. I feel like next time we have to do something fa like fancy. Uh, I'm sorry, Philippe. I really don't enjoy the food. Not that I want to be picky, but uh, that bread looks shit. Everything looks awful. Your sausage, I wouldn't eat that. Let me, I'll, let me try the bacon. I don't think I've ever tried the bacon from here. Have a fucking blast, bro. It's so crunchy. Yeah, unable to take your fingerprints after. If you need to commit a crime, dip your hand in that bacon. No fingerprints. It's really bad. Yeah. So, most likely, if uh, you lost a cat in that area, it's in, the, it's in my box. <laughs> Could my French compadre be right? Could this restaurant really just be a poopy, weird diner? You know, I used to go to this place a lot more in my younger years, and maybe it's just not what I thought it was cracked up to be. Tonight, I'm going to the most expensive restaurant in the city to compare. All right, guys, I'm here in the bathroom. This is a uh, lamb shank with glazed carrots and gnocchi. Looks pretty good. Oh, fuck, it's fucking hot on my leg. No, that doesn't work either. <sighs> Mm, I feel awkward in here. Like I'm not like supposed to be in here. It's not the same as the other place. I don't need this fancy bathroom. It was a cold atmosphere in there, man. Not very inviting. You know, I feel right at home in that cheap restaurant. And you know what? If that makes me a hipster chick that likes dive bars, or if that makes me immature, or even if it just makes me a plain old silly guy, there's no toilet that I'd rather sit on. Love you guys. Peace.
just been uh, working on pushing out my new album. Got my merch up. Yeah, you're dropping an album soon. Yeah. The Hey Bucko shirts are available for purchase. Woo! Got a shirt uh, with Brett and a hoodie. And yeah. The, and, uh, we have a... We split the profits. So yeah, fucking... I appreciate it. If you ever want to support my mans... I like egg salad sandwiches. Oh, man. Should I tell my egg salad story? No. <laughs> <laughs> my first dab I ever took. Remember dabs? Oh, I don't... I haven't heard this story. My first dab I ever took. Yeah. Only dab I ever took, by the way. I had a massive panic attack and had to go to the ho hospital. I had to have an ambulance take me to the hospital. Jesus. And, uh... When I got there, all they had to eat was egg salad sandwiches, and I'd never had them before. Yeah. And I was like, wow, this is delicious. And I ate, like, fucking, like, literally, like, eight. <laughs> <laughs> and now I hate them because uh, they just remind me of uh, being at the hospital. That'd do it. I had a very passionate but brief love affair with egg salad. Man, this is more like a podcast story, but when I worked at a dispensary, I gave a dude a dab once, and he, he thought he died. Oh my god. Did I ever tell you that story? No. So I gave this guy a dab. He's like an older guy, maybe 50 years old. And like immediately like takes off his shoes and takes off his socks. Like the dab knocked his socks off. And he goes to start taking off his shirt. And I was like, no, dude, dude. Like this is like a, a, a place you can't really do that. And so he like starts to like cry and shit. And I was like, oh my god, what? what's going on here? And uh, I was like, hey, man, maybe like we can go to the back patio and like just get some fresh air. And he looks at me, just like tears in his eyes. He's like, I'm not ready. I've sinned too much in my life. And I was like, okay. <laughs> when I asked him if uh, he wanted to go to the back patio, he told me the next day that he, uh, yeah, he thought that he died and that uh, it was at the Pearly Gates. And I was, who is at St. Peter's at the Pearly Gates, just being like, come on to heaven. But he thought that he was going to get judged at the pearly gates and because of all the sins that he committed he thought that he would immediately go to hell so he was just like i'm not ready for that judgment yo in what fucking world are you the heaven greeter guy? <laughs> should we talk about orgies yeah far much better I mean, i'm not even a big fan of dp it was just like funny you know like uh, it was uh, at a wine tasting actually <laughs> <laughs> of course that's so French. No, uh, you know what? I, I, I was in I was in South Africa. It was like years ago, and that girl she make us she make us try wine, and uh, blah blah. And after he drift into some something totally random. And uh, I was with uh, actually two Indian guys. You know, like uh, East Indian or uh, Indian Indians uh, from India. You know. Yeah. And uh, there was one. He had a massive. Coach, but like I was so impressed, he had a massive coach, and um, and oh my fuck, he had a massive coach. I remember something nasty that girl, she was eating chocolate, she spat it back on my dick. I was like, eh. People clapped at the end of my performance, but uh, you know, like my cock was stiff at that time, I had a lot of drinks, and I was like, wow, Thomas, you're a star, you're in a, in a porn movie. <laughs> I once spent an uh, Halloween at a swinger club and like they were all friends and we didn't fuck. Ah fuck, how much of a loser we can be when you go to a swinger club and not dip your little biscuit. That's scandalous. <laughs> we, uh, we, I probably the, I'm probably one of the guys with the, the least game in the world. <laughs> ah, fuck that shit. Any okay, so you, you recognized me from the channel. Yeah. You've, you're giving me pregnant Garfield art? Yeah. What is this? Um, well, it's just Garfield and he's... Pregnant with a fetal John. <laughs> with, a, with a what? A fetal John. That's John in his stomach. Oh my god, I didn't even notice John. That's fucking amazing. Yeah. Also, check out my new song, Taxes. It's on Spotify, it's on Apple. Just type in Philip Solo and enjoy. I'll also put the link in the comments and description. Here's a little preview. I used to pay the plug, now I pay taxes I used to handle all his breaks with love Alright I found a job and went to California Right And if I lose my job, I'll hit him up I'll hit him up I'll hit him up
found out the addy I called a lawyer from a rich family Damn Sip tea out of teacup 9pm at home with my feet up Never name names I never trust thoughts This much coke don't fit in the glove box Got away so It's on Spotify, it's on Apple Just type in Philip Solo and enjoy You guys are all very special to me I love you Remember, you're fucking capable of anything. Anything. Mwah.